What is up, everybody? Welcome to week 39. I'm starting off the week by road cruising back out here in Alabama. It's hot. Um, I was up all night last night finishing up the week 38 video. So all right, guys, here's my first snake of the night, and it is a relatively large garter snake. The first one I've seen on this road alive here in Alabama. But good looking snake. Nice nice yellow and black coloration on this guy, but this guy's pretty common. Saw one last night. Just gonna get him off the road and keep cruising. Well, nice garter snake to start off the night. Can't complain. Uh, just hoping that that's not the only thing we see, but we'll find out. Alright guys, next snake of the night is this little baby copperhead. Another one. Baby copperheads are out in full force apparently. We got two of them last night. And here's another one. Absolutely adorable. Look at that little yellow tail. Anyways, gonna get this guy to the road and keep cruising. Hey, next stick of the night. Baby rat snake. Not too far past the copperhead. I'm back in Georgia now. I just crossed across the state line and found this guy. So third stick of the night. I'm gonna keep cruising and hopefully there will be more stuff out. So since it didn't really seem like much was moving, I decided to basically spend the rest of the night scouting stuff. And uh, what I do when I'm doing this is uh, I'll just uh, put my navigation up on the screen like this and I can see where the roads go and what directions they go. And I'll just drive and see what the habitat looks like, see if I can find any DORs of interest. And, uh, that's a good way for me to find new road cruising roads basically just explore and hope that you see something of interest that could could maybe motivate you to come back to that area. Like if I was just randomly cruising, this is mostly a cut through road, but if I was cruising a road like this and found a DOR pygmy, then I'd have a new pygmy road just like that. So anyways, I'm going to keep at it. And if I see anything of interest, I will let you guys know. But if not, I'll probably see you guys tomorrow. What is up guys? It is Wednesday of week 39. Yesterday sucked. I didn't see anything. I cruised for four or five hours and did not see a single snake. It was awful. Probably the worst night I've had all year. But it cooled off a lot today. It's nice and mild. It's only 84 degrees and it's probably maybe an hour away from sunset. So um, I have higher hopes for tonight, but I'm doing something a little different. I'm going to be hitting a new area I've never hurt before. And then after road cruising slows down, if it ever starts, Greg and I are going to hit some creeks around here and see what kind of turtles are around. So I'll check in with you guys when things start happening, which hopefully they do. At long last, my first snake of the night. It is a little over an hour after dark, and I'm just now getting my first snake of the night. So I'm guessing it's probably not going to be a very productive road cruising night. But anyways, Decay's brown snake. Only snake I've seen so far. I'm going to get him out of the road and probably meet Greg and walk some creeks. All right, guys, we are in the creek, and here's our first herp. Big American bullfrog. Anyways, looks pretty promising. We're hoping to find alligator snappers in this creek, but who knows? We'll see. Oh no. That is a toe biter. Greg, let him bite your toe. Alright, guys. Well, Greg just flipped our first herp in what seems like forever. Beautiful little southern two-line salamander. Good yellow coloration on this guy. We started flipping a couple rocks in this stream for lack of anything better to do because we haven't had any luck, but pretty cool. Here's our second water snake of the night. The first one got away, but this creek's good for these at least. This one's pretty too. Not quite as nice, but good looking snake. Hey there. I'm just going to let him carry on with his night. The last one bit me and managed to take a giant dump on my hand before it got away. So, I'm not going to mess with that one. Oh, leopard frogs! There's frogs that aren't bullfrogs. There's some sort of large mammal in the water up here. Went down right there. It could be a beaver. Yeah. I bet it's a beaver. Oh, there it is. It is a beaver. I see his tail. Greg, no, you. He's in the water. <laughs> Look, you see his tail? 
That's his tail right there. You see it? Oh, right there, that dark yeah. thing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see his dumb little feet. <laughs> his dumb little feet. Oh no. Where'd he go? Up under the bank? Oh, he's over there! That thing's so big! Oh no, he's coming back. He's coming around! There he is! Yep, what's up, man? Oh, he stinks, dude. That's what that smell That's is. Musk. A beaver! Hey, buddy. That is not what I was expecting to see in this little creek, but... I mean, I guess it kind of makes up for not really seeing much in the way of herps. He's so cute. I'm gonna get a picture of him. All right, guys, well, we are headed... Oh, my goodness. I almost ran into a spider. Anyways, we're headed back to the car. Was not a very successful night. It was fun, though. We got to see a beaver and uh, a couple common herp species. But anyways, I'm going to get up in the morning and do some diurnal turtling slash snaking because tomorrow the high is only 82 degrees. So I will see you guys then. Good morning, everyone. It is Friday, September 20th. The high is below 90 degrees in Georgia. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hopefully take advantage of that and find some snakes. What is up, guys? We are at our main spot that we're planning on herping today. Um, feels pretty good. It's in the low 70s still, and it's almost maybe 11 o'clock in the morning. So temperature is... thought I saw something. But temperature is holding nicely. Uh, it's going to be nice and cool today, so we're going to get after it and see what we can find. All right, guys, we just got our first turtle of the day that's actually catchable. And it's something pretty cool. Right here is a newly hatched baby loggerhead musk turtle. Check that out. Look at that little red belly. Absolutely adorable. Anyways, he seems to be a little shy. There he is. Showing us his face. <laughs> He's so cute. That's ridiculous. Anyways, we are going to release this little guy and keep looking. Maybe there will be some baby alligator snappers today too. We'll see. Alright guys, next turtle of the day. Oh, he's going. This is an adult loggerhead musk turtle. Alright guys, next turtle of the day, just after that loggerhead, is this river cooter. He's tucked in these rocks nicely. There we go. That is a beautiful turtle, holy crap. Oh my goodness, that's a nice looking turtle. Wow. Let me get some photos of this one. I cannot really believe this turtle. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. That stained belly, that coloration is mostly from the water, I think, but all around, just the way the shell smoothed out, absolutely beautiful turtle. Anyway, it's gonna let this guy go and keep looking. Seems like the turtles are out this morning, which is awesome. All right, guys, it's time to release this beautiful little river cooter. Let's see here. Alrighty, stay safe out there. That's <laughs> such a pretty turtle. All right guys, there's a big turtle out here. Keep an eye on it where it goes. It's a big slider. Hopefully he goes somewhere I can actually grab him. like that. Got him. No. Got my wallet and keys wet. Alright guys, here's a look at this slider. If he wants to come out here for us. But really nice looking yellow belly. Perfect example of a wild type yellow belly slider and not the, uh, the captive one. So this is actually a very native turtle to this region. In a lot of areas, these guys are actually introduced, but good diversity and good number so far. All right, gonna release this slider real quick. 
This is the nice part about daytime turtling is you can get video of this kind of thing. <laughs> They're not very fast swimmers like cooters. They're not quite as graceful. So you see him? So oh, he's probably gonna go under this rock. Nope, I got you. Another big one. Look at that. Loggerhead must turtle number three for the day. What is this guy doing? Oh, he's got a hole right there. You see his butt sticking out? Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm not quite sure. Yeah. Hello. He's like, why? I worked so hard to get in that crack and you just pulled me out. All right, I'm sorry. I wanted to show you to the world. Go back into your crack. And sure enough. <laughs> Another one. Look at this guy. Hello. He's there. Our first snake of the day. Oh! I got him. Another one? Oh, I do. Alright. I need the double grab. I got it. Alright, stop, stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Goodness. Stop. Loggerhead and a water snake. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna let these guys go. Wow. Ugh. Well, unsurprisingly, our first and only snake of the day so far was a water snake. So, we see lots of those here, obviously. It's a creek in Georgia. So, hopefully we'll be able to turn up something that's not a water snake eventually, but I'm gonna keep looking. Man, these guys are out in force today. That one's just hanging out in a rock crack as they do. Probably not going to touch him. Oh, he's coming out for us even. Yep, I'm just going to leave him to it. And keep walking. Another one! They really are everywhere today. So there's a loggerhead right there. And there's another one right there. So many turtles so far today. Another one. Hello. I'm gonna have to stop filming these guys. Another one came yep. up. I see. I wonder if they're gonna fight. Oh. It's a showdown. Do something. <laughs> Oh, he's fleeing. Oh, oh. Is that a male and a female? Uh, actually, I think it is. The smaller being the male? Yeah. I'm missing your shot, sir. Oh, they're going under. Hi. They're back out. Oh my goodness, she is not interested. <laughs> Shoot your shot, brother. Oh, under the rock. So one just went under this rock and there's that one right there. Scooting around. Here he is, he's coming out this side. See the edge of her shell. There's turtles everywhere right here. This is crazy. Look at that. A beautiful water snake. Got him. Look at that. Oh, okay. 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 Ow. Ow. 
gorgeous water snake. Wow, wow. Stop. My God. <laughs> Ow. That is one of the better looking water snakes I've seen here. Okay. Ah. God, it's the worst when their teeth get hooked like that. Anyways, I'm gonna let this guy go. It's pretty well camouflaged in those leaves. I can see him moving still, but I don't actually see him. There he is. We got baby loggerheads, we got adult loggerheads, we've got maiden loggerheads, and we've even got baskin loggerheads. It's just the loggerheadiest day of all time. Check that out. I just flipped a neonate king, or king snake, I wish, a neonate queen snake. That's pretty neat. First baby one of these I've seen in a while. He was under a rock right on the edge of this bank, but pretty cool. I'm going to show this guy to Caitlin real quick, and then we're going to let him go. Always nice to see one of these. I saw one earlier, but it got away and it was an adult, but cool to see a little one. Newly born queen snake. I'll let this guy go and keep herping. Look at that belly. All right, guys, well, we are back at the car. It was a pretty productive morning. Awesome to see all those loggerheads. Um, a couple snakes too, so that was nice, but this will probably be the end of the video for here. Um, I've gotten quite a bit of footage over the last couple of days, but none of the days have been good enough standalone to make their own video. So uh, what I'll probably do is end the video here, and I will pick up with you guys one more time in week 39 if I have another good day, but I'm not going to force it. So um, it might not be to week 40 that I see you again. Anyways, thanks for watching, and I hope you enjoyed.